Hi there, I'm Dr. Struby. I'm a chiropractic physician in Pinellas Park, Florida. Chiropractors, they deal with neck pain, back pain. That's probably the bulk of what I see in my practice. And neck pain and back pain are quite common. Now there are many different causes for neck pain and back pain, but the single biggest cause is problems with the facets and I'll go over that with you in a moment or so. Um, yeah, the facets are small joints. Every vertebrae has four facet joints associated with it, except for the two topmost vertebrae. And those facets are pain sensitive. They're like any other joint. They're like your elbow, your knee, your big toe. They can become inflamed. If they do, they hurt. I'm going to show you on the skeleton here what the facet joints are. This vertebrae here, it hooks up with the vertebrae below it, it hooks up with the vertebrae above it, and it does so by way of these facet joints. So every vertebrae has four facet joints. It's got two below, two above, where it hooks up with the other vertebrae in the column. So, as you can see, there are multiple facet joints throughout the back. The low back, the neck, are where most movement takes place. The mid back, the thoracic spine, is kind of stabilized by all these ribs. The low back and the neck, very mobile, so they're a little bit more subject to these joints becoming inflamed. If those joints become inflamed, you have a back problem or a neck problem. With those joints being inflamed, that's one of the reasons why adjusting or manipulation can be helpful. Because when a chiropractor does an adjustment on your neck or low back, he's moving those joints and freeing things up, getting things to function more the way they are supposed to. If everything is working the way it's designed to work, generally speaking, you're in pretty good shape. If it's not, if it's inflamed, if the muscles are tightened up around it, if it's not able to go through its full range of motion, the likelihood of developing problems increases considerably. Uh, most people's problems with facet joints are either due to an injury or being on the planet for a while. You know, because those are joints, they're going to wear over time. Arthritic degenerative changes are a big cause of neck and low back pain. Automobile accidents are a big cause of neck and low back pain. But it's almost always the facets that are involved. And there are other tissues that are going to be involved as well. You know, you can have damaged discs, muscles and ligaments, but almost always, at least to some degree, the facet joints are what is responsible for a lot of your discomfort. So. If you are having issues with your neck or low back, if you've been injured, if you've got arthritic degenerative change, you should have a chiropractor take a look at you, see if they think there's something they could do that would be helpful. It's the holiday season, so I'm going to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I want you all to have a good day. Thank you very much.